Blukombo's residents in Cryfontaine are demanding a more permanent solution be implemented to address frequent flooding in their homes. The member of community they're forcing to, to move uh, because ever since it started the rain and the flood. But uh, it's on every year in the winter in this community who are facing the same problem. Aid organization Gift of the Givers distributed food, blankets and personal hygiene items to flood-hit Masipumalele residents. I wish like mm, they can be able to like build us somehow proper houses and then they can be able to fix like mm, also like the water like you yeah, see. Yeah, that's my wish. Provincial leaders say assistance is being rolled out to affected communities. We have seen in total uh, a road closure of 52 roads being uh, district roads or secondary roads and municipal roads, but I will just focus on the provincial road network. That's in the Garden Route district, but also in the Overberg district municipality area, which have the most roads that have been affected. But we have also seen in the West Coast, again, the, the issue of Citrus Dal, the road, the river actually went over the road again. I must emphasize it's part of the design of the road. Uh, the last time that the media were there, it was only a one lane. I was informed by our engineers that it's now a two lane again. The weather service predicts mostly sunny and warmer temperatures forecast for next week. This is expected to offer disaster teams some reprieve as they continue to assess the storm damage. Kevin Brandt, Cape Town.